actually my art bin that I, my bin, it is big enough to be a bin that I actually took with me when I was on vacation with my family. So I thought I would give you a peek as to what things I chose to bring with me in case that inspires you when you're going on vacation so you know what would bring, you know what you might want to bring too. There's actually a lot in here. So I'm going to switch my camera view. I'm going to literally dump this out. I got back a full week ago. I don't even remember what's in here. But I do like sometimes just for fun to, um, to actually challenge myself and limit my supplies in almost a weird way. Um, I think it's probably stemmed from going on vacation a hundred times and having like way too many art supplies with me that I don't use at all. So then sometimes I'll do the opposite and be like, Karen, all you get is a pencil and a piece of paper. Like, sorry, girlfriend. Um, I'm not giving you anything else. <laughs> and then I'm like, okay, how do I make this work? Cause you don't, you know, it's kind of a fun challenge. So, okay. I need to just switch my camera view. Cause I'm going to literally dump this out. It always takes me a minute. Camera webcam. I haven't done this for a while. Oh, good. Oh, there's my fat arm. Okay. Do, 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 do. All right. So here is my, my bin. Oh, this wire is in the way. So here's my bin. Um, thank you, Mandy. Um, yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to dump out what's in here. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so first of all, you notice it's all, this is all dry media. There's nothing wet in here. So that's the first easy way to like make things simple when you're on vacation is to um, not, you know, kind of get rid of anything that's like painted. Uh, of course, I love to draw. So if you don't love to draw, then this might be not as awesome. I love to do other things, obviously. I'm a mixed media artist by trade anyways, but just for when I'm traveling, it's fun to limit myself. Um, these are some new Pentel um clicky pens that I have fallen in lust with I love a huge fat nib these are actually 0.7 and I use these for taking notes so actually the reason I have these all all of these is that I'm doing research for my podcast so I was doing that on my vacation too so I use these to take notes for my podcast these are all 0.7 so my 0.7 ones I like to use for writing and the one millimeter ones I use for this these are my drawing ones just a I just love a juicy gel pen nib I love it it's like ice skating on my paper all right now we'll we'll categorize these as I do in my brain so then I have my white tools so I got you gotta have like I will not leave my house without some sort of way to make highlights on something. <laughs> so as you can see, I have all these white Poscas because I'm always afraid that like one of them's not gonna work. Um, and then the reason I love a china marker, which are all co also called grease markers, is that they lay on top of tone paper super well, and they um, they just they're very opaque more so, and they sit better than a regular color pencil. That being said, you can always just use a regular color pencil. And by the way, and the reason also that like I'm giving you the link to that packet is that on the second page, I think I actually have some links to these supplies. So you can, cause in case you're like, what the heck, what did she say about that weird white pencil? There's actually links and descriptions about what those are. Um, so yeah, I love a China pencil and I actually wanted to find a black one. I have one and I couldn't find it in time. We were like racing out the door. So instead I grabbed this sucker, which, um, this is like, I get these at Jerry's Artorama. These are, I think they're half, I want to say wax and half, half oil based, but in kind of the same vein, they go on really strongly. You can't blend them like you can graphite. So you use them more for like outlines. But um, because they're so black and bold, I really enjoy using them. So there's there's that guy. And then I like to have just straight up pencils. I'm, um, so uh, God forbid I leave my home without all of my graph care pencils. <laughs> See, and this is why I like to, um, <laughs> this is why, um, I don't even know what I was going to say. I was just laughing at myself. Um, okay, so I have these. I like to use all of them. I have the 0.9, so real bold lines, 0 0.7, uh, 0.5, and 0.3. I really didn't need all of these. And to be honest, I don't really use the 0.3 one very much, but I spend most of my time um, with the 0 0.5, 0 0.7, and 0.9. I use the 0.9 a lot when I'm teaching online because it's a nice bold line, so I know everybody can see it really well. So that's those for outlines. And then I want shading. You can literally do everything with one of these suckers. 
which, and this is a black wing pencil and I use these ones all the time. And the reason I like them, it's like having an entire pencil set in one pencil. So while these run $2 a pencil, it's actually saving you 10 bucks because you didn't have to even invest in the whole pencil set. And I'll show you why it's so yummy when I do my demo in just a second. Sorting through my mess here. Um, and then in order to blend all that graphite, you need to have a blending stump. So this all these two things like never I never leave the house without because even if I just had those and one of my whites, I would be a happy camper. I could do most of those things that we're doing. Um, so yeah, it's so, so fun. So what else do I have? I'm almost done. I don't really have that many things. I have a little mono eraser in case I want to do tiny tiny erasing bits. I don't think the eraser works super awesome on this paper either, but I still love it anyways. But see how teeny weeny tiny that is? Oh, the, that's a black wing pencil, Karen. You can find all the links to all my favorite supplies at, I'll put them in the comments, is um, it's on that sheet. If you grab the PDF, this is on your, that's on the PDF on the second page. Um, you can find all my favorite art supplies at amazon.com com slash shop slash Karen Kimbaris. These are all in here and they're in like folders. So you know, which is which um, here is another just pen. This is a Signo Unibel Signo um, black, also one millimeter nib because I love a juicy fat nib. My favorite eraser is the Vanish eraser. Again, I only use one kind of eraser. It works on everything except charcoal. It's like, it should be called the magic eraser instead because I love it. Here's a Posca pen in black. Because again, I love a black white, but I also love a jet black outline. And then guys, this is this is my new favorite. All right, if you follow me at all, you know I'm already obsessed and I use it in 100% of every drawing and mixed media project I've ever done ever is this pot, um, Pentel pocket brush pen. I love it. It's just amazing. It's amazing. It's juicy. It comes with two refills when you get it. Um, and I love it. And I just discovered this little bad boy. And this is it. I'm ready to do my demo after this. This is like a little teeny tiny baby version of that one. I just found this one at Michael's and I almost died. I was like, what is that? But look how thin that line is. Oh my God. So that's amazing for like teeny tiny outlines. So this one is like the big sister to this one. So I couldn't believe I found it, but these are just great for, they're permanent ink, so they don't bleed. They're great for eyelashes. And <laughs> it's really important we draw good eyelashes. Don't you think so? That's all I have in that bag. Um, and I just had that and then this little sketchbook and that was all I had. And I did all those fun drawings. It was super fast and quick.